are here right now at uh, Raccoon Key. So we're right here. I just uh, downloaded the latest weather using Predict Wind this morning. And we're getting southerly winds right now, which has made this anchorage a little exposed. Uh, you can see it right here if you take a look. So we're, we're right in here and you can see how the winds are like coming out of the southeast now, which is bringing some swell into this anchorage. So that's okay, it's not too bad. But if you look forward, this is tomorrow. This is two days from now, it gets really light. But then here, midday on Thursday, this is actually Thursday evening, I guess. And then through Friday, it starts to blow more out of the north. And last time we were in this anchorage, when it started to blow out of the north, it got super uncomfortable and it put us on a lee shore, actually blowing us towards the beach. That wasn't cool, so we're gonna try and find another anchorage, just one three miles north, uh, that should have some more protection from the coming winds. And we're going to go up to the next island north, up to Buena Vista Key, and anchor in here, because then we should get some more protection from the north and the north-northeast and I'm hoping some more protection from the south as well. And then we'll just go on up there. Three miles should be, should be easy. Here we go. Forward! Coming forward! You wanna see what mommy's doing? She's pulling up the anchor. The anchor is what holds us to the ground. It keeps our boat from drifting places. It's just a big piece of heavy metal sticks into the ground and we hold it to the boat with the chain. Isn't that pretty weird? Okay, we're up! We're gonna move to a new spot. Most people can't move their house if the weather changes. I guess for most people it doesn't matter if the weather changes because your house is safe, but our house could be smashed into the beach. This is the story of Delos, a sailboat adventurizing around the world for the past 10 years. And now we embark on our greatest adventure of all. Come join us as we take to the high seas and travel the world with the newest member of our crew. If you enjoy Delos videos, please subscribe. It's a great way to support our channel. We're going like almost five knots with just a scrap of sail on. It's kind of weird, we're just flying. <laughs> it's beautiful sailing. All right, we've decided to try and get some shots of Dello sailing with the drone, which is actually a little bit of a challenge with Sierra because there's only two of us on board now. So I'm gonna get in the dinghy and fly the drone. Uh, Kaza is going to sail the boat and manage the baby. Are you sure we're up for this? Mm -hmm. Okay, Kaza, can you copy? Yeah, I copy. Okay, I'm in the dinghy, everything's good. I'm gonna get the uh, drone set up. I'll let you know when it's in the air, over. Looking real good, Kaza, looks great. going towards the anchorage. I think Brian had some problems with the home button with the drone so hopefully we'll be able to get it back. You know, normally when I do that, when we get far away, I go to the app and I set my current position as the home point. And I tried to do it and it said weak mobile GPS signal. You know, the battery is getting low and I turned around and came to head home, but the home I was going to was like where we started, right? Not where I was, because I was chasing you and the wind was blowing us. And so I had no idea where I was. And so I put the camera down and I just did my best guess fly towards where I think the dinghy is. Just as it went into, I'm gonna return home mode, I spotted the dinghy. Oh. And I was like, oh shoot, and I flew, I landed with like 13% battery. Oh. 
The other option, I was gonna try and make the island and just crash it on the beach, right? Yeah. That would have been better than losing it in the water, but yeah. oh, okay. stressful. about this beach but it just caught my eye as we were coming in and it's freaking gorgeous it's like this beautiful white sand and then there's rocks behind it and it's really calm in here it looks like it's gonna be a super cool place to explore anyway we'll go for a little wee stroll check yeah. out the island and see what we find Onward. so we just arrived this new island Buena Vista Key or K. Going for a little walk. The beach is incredibly long. It just goes on forever and ever. How long do you think the beach is, Kaza? Pretty long. It's long, huh? It's all the way over there. Absolutely incredible beach. It's so chill and we've got the entire entire place to ourselves We've been walking for a long way and we're only halfway down right now And when we were coming in I thought I saw like something at that end like a roof or rocks or Something I want to go check out. It looked like some kind of structure, huh? Yeah, some kind of a structure So and I love just exploring random shit anyway. Yeah, <laughs> whatever Worst thing that happens is we go for a long walk and find nothing. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Look at these crazy boat looking thing. I know, it's wild. And this guy. What is that? Who is he? <gasps> it looks like an eye and an ear and a nose. This is some sort of a catamaran. I don't know this, uh, I saw this roof from like middle way down the beach. Yeah, it looks really And it crazy. just looks like a crazy fisherman's hut. So yeah. we thought we'd walk down and check it out. There's definitely not anybody here. Uh, hello! It looks like super abandoned. Is anybody here? <laughs> Imagine if somebody was like... <laughs> I no, borrowed some shoes. Where'd you find those? <laughs> not right. There's some shit around. I don't want to step on anything. <laughs> Good on you, Kaza. I think it's some sort of a fishing camp. It is, right? Yeah. But it looks quite like the roof collapsed some time ago. You think it blew off in a hurricane or something? I mean, it looks like that is the house, right? Yeah, and so this the... is the... It's really well built too, though. Like, look at the size of these beams. They're like really thick beams. There you go, there's a really healthy rooster over here. <laughs> Hello, rooster. How's it? How's it? It's pretty cool, though. I love exploring like abandoned things. A bunch of tools though. There's like a drill press, saw, an auto seat, a bottle of something crazy. This is a water tank. Now it's filled with spider webs and algae. This place must have been sweet when it was all fixed up though. It's so quiet. Listen to this. It's just the sound of the wind going through these needles in the trees. That's something you never hear on the boat. I know. The closest would be the rigging. 
Yeah. I saw a pretty nice place to uh, just sit over there and make a fire. Was a fire pit? Oh. I think so. Cool. Score. Wow. Look at this one. It's already almost been burned. Yeah. Now let's hope I don't make a fool out of myself. <laughs> it doesn't light. <laughs> On you. Oh, how incredibly special is this? It's absolutely amazing. We haven't done a beach fire, Brian. We haven't done a beach fire since like I don't know how long. I'm just filled with so much joy right now. Oh, and this sunset is gonna be so nice too. I can't believe we can be out here, just the three of us, and just explore and show Sierra all of these amazing places. <laughs> what else do you need, man? I got rum and coke, chips, salsa, baby, wife, sunset. Oh, I want some salsa too. Okay. Ooh, it's good. Yeah? It's really good. And get to experience this together is really, really amazing. It's hard to describe almost, you know? This makes me a bit teary. <laughs> Ahoy Dulles Tribe! Did you know that for about the same price as a cup of coffee, you can join our inner circle which gives you lots of cool benefits like early access to our video releases, private membership to our tribal council where you can chat with the crew, and also invitations for like sailing and diving and crew opportunities and all sorts of cool stuff. Yep, so head to patreon.com forward slash svdelos for more information. And we love you! That's it! Back <laughs> to the show! <laughs> it's a little dark looking out there. I think there's a squall coming. Yeah, for sure. Batten down the hatches. You can feel it in the air too. I know. Look at this. So this is the weather. And so you can see like this is yesterday. And then it forecasted this morning, this front just boom coming through. And I think that's what just hit us right mm -hmm. there. So it's pretty pronounced and it's going to be like that out of the north for a while. Uh, this is a day out. This is tomorrow, 24 hours from now, 36 hours from now. Now we're into Saturday and it's still pumping, pumping, wow, pumping. Wow, long so, time, huh? Yeah, so I think it's best that we move uh, just around the corner. We gotta be on your toes around here in the Ragged Islands. No yeah. slacking on the job. Okay, picking up anchor. The Ragged Islands are an incredible place to cruise, but none of the anchorages are really well protected from all wind directions. With an impending shift to northerly winds, our current anchorage would be exposed to the fury of the open ocean. Our plan was to move our house to a more protected spot in advance of the cold front that was bearing down upon us. It looks pretty nice. I think it'll give good protection. Go ahead and drop it right here. Hey Kaza, can you put out like, put out to 20 meters and then back down? Ah, it's no good. No good? We sat like right on a bare patch of rock. Oh no. And so the anchor is just literally like sitting on the top. Oh. I think we should just actually move the, go one boat like to starboard. It looks like where that dark patch is, is, is sand with grass on top of it. Okay. We could try that. Otherwise, I don't know, we'll have to go look around a little bit. It's 
so it's a lot better. Uh, it's still not like 100% as good as pure sand, but it's dug in pretty good. How much chain do you have out? 20 meters. Okay, so let's put out another five or six and then we'll snub it. So we'll end up with 30 meters okay. in total. And I think we'll be fine. With our anchor set well, the only thing we could do was wait for the approaching cold front. Calm before the storm. You can see it coming too. Yeah. It's just right there. Ominous clouds on the horizon, huh? No, this boat so is in here trying to protect themselves a little bit. Come look at this. That's crazy, huh? What? Look at it. Oh. Oh, nugget. How much do you think it will blow? Like 30? I don't think, I think it's going to be like 20, 25. It's here. Oh, it's blowing a solid 30 today. It is a lot different than it was yesterday morning. Look at this, it's crazy. Hey, it's blowing 35 knots here, Marta. What? I was just out checking the anchor, checking the anchor snubber, and I had to take all our flags down because I didn't want them to get ripped. Yeah. We're safe though, the anchor is dug in good, but it's still kind of crazy. Yeah, it's like big waves. All is normal in here though, Sierra's eating. <laughs> it's like a different world outside. I know. So it's like our, we're living in a little cocoon. Yeah. Now this is good for these conditions though, because she's nice and heavy. Yeah. It's, it's absolutely crazy. It doesn't even look like the waves are that big, but when you get on the side, and you see Delos in the waves with like the bottom coming out and you're like, is there like a little family living in there? And then, that's crazy. But, but on the boat it's not that bad. No, it's like a little good. Yeah. I'm going back inside. I usually make Sierra a little porridge bowl in the morning. You like it, right? Yeah. Yeah, you like porridge. She's actually become a quite a good eater. Um, like in the beginning, the food was just going everywhere. But now, that's pretty good job. It's always messy. Ah. Jeez. It just won't let up. This is day two. Two, yeah. Being stuck on the boat. Oh man. <laughs> it's not that comfortable. It's so gnarly out there. Yeah. I mean, it's really tolerable neat. in here. It's not that bad, but it's not like a leisurely Caribbean anchorage <laughs> that you'd imagine. <laughs> All the other boats left. Yeah. There's like two more models left. Maybe for left. a reason. I mean, we move a little bit, but it's not that bad. No. So another computer day? Get some work done? Yeah, I think so. It's a super windy 
cloudy day here in Bahamas. <laughs> and we're just chilling in bed. It's actually pretty cold. Um, I mean, like a thicker blanket on me and we're just relaxing, laying in bed like we do in the mornings. Okay, well I thought as long as it's gonna be a stormy day sitting here working, we might as well eat good. Wow. We got us an omelet oh, yeah. with mushrooms and onions, bacon, and a little bit of capsicum and cheese on top. Wow, that's a real treat. Bon appetit! Thank you! We're getting so much power from wind and sun lately, the batteries are completely topped up and the high voltage alarm is actually going off. What's going on today's fine day, huh? Well, we've got so much power from the wind and solar coming in that I've decided to do a little distilling to use some of the power. And uh, I've got some of the original moonshine mix and I'm gonna double distill it and see who we can like bump up the quality level. Um, so yeah, things you do when the weather is After five days, the blow finally subsided and the weather god smiled down upon Delos and her crew. The sky began to clear and the wind returned to normal. Up next on Delos, we explore the calm shallows of our new anchorage and decide to head in to Duncan Town. You wanna go down Duke Street? Knives are not toys. <laughs> okay. Uh, so anyway, yeah. So we're here. We're, uh, I don't like it. It's tough to be a nug, huh? Business in the front, party in the back. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> like it? I like it a lot. <laughs> 